How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I haven't had a video for a little while. Been working on the basement pretty hard down there. I do have it painted finally, so uh, I was able to go out for a little outing this morning with Ontario Vendors Charity. We were down to the Alma Farm Toy Show. Also up to Jolly's Farm Toys, and then uh, we made a little piss up on the way back, and I bought another addition for the real collection out here. Anyway, uh, let me show you what we picked up here, and I'm going to my big addition later on. Oh yeah, I got my helper out here today too. Well, we'll start with the little guy. What did you get from the Alma show? No, nope, camera shy, okay. <laughs> anyway, I picked up a little uh, 7R by Bruder for Mr. Bennett Oliver there, so. Yeah, you got anything to say about your new tractor, buddy? Hey? Right. Yeah? That's good. Now he loves it already. <laughs> Anyway, so I picked up this uh, 1066 5 millionth international tractor, the 50th anniversary. Also picked the LSW Big Bud 747. I've been after a Big Bud for quite a while. So I've seen that at uh, Richie Farm Toys there, so I had to have that. Just picked those up. But on the way home, I had picked up a Oliver... 312 Plowmaster 100 Plow. Uh, you guys have been watching my channel for a bit, know I've been after a plow for quite a bit. Um, I did find one actually pretty local to home here. I haven't got it home yet, uh, but I did get a bunch of extra parts and a bunch of books for it. Um, anyway, we'll start with the books, I guess. As far as I know, everything here is original. This is a Oliver Plow Guide. That's the original book. I have not seen another one of those. Here's an operator's manual for an Oliver 80. He uh, threw that in the deal too, since he knows I'm kind of into that stuff, and I've got an 80 here now. Here we got a, a setup instruction book for the Plowmaster 100 series. Also came with a parts book. Got some uh, pretty neat stuff on the back there, all the plants. Also got some literature, the Oliver Radex Plow Bottoms. 102 and 103 adjustable gang plows. Oliver. Oliver heavy duty plows. Yeah. Came with quite a bit of extra stuff. I'll have to find a home in the filing cabinet for that. Uh, it also did come with an original clevis. Uh, I had it here a second ago and I set it down. Where did I put it? There it is, right there. So this is an original tractor clevis, so you can tell by TC there. And this has never been used, as you would see the wear on the front of the ring there. I don't think this is ever used. So that was pretty neat to be able to get that. Also, what are you up to? Huh? You gonna start the old heart power up? A little cold today. Anyway, got a bunch of extra parts for this plow. Uh, an extra axle, a little hub, two hubs, some extra shares and whatnot. Um, extra mold board extensions. Got a brand new trailing wheel tire, which we will need. Uh, extra rim, extra two trailing wheels. So there's quite a bit of extra stuff to come along with it. The price is pretty fair on it, so I couldn't say no. And, uh, yeah, I think next week we'll go pick the plow up, and, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert it to a two-bottom instead of a three-bottom, because I don't think my 99 will be ready for plowing this year, although that one's ready to plow, and, well, we're getting close with the 80 all the time. I was out here last night for a bit and got a bunch of wire wheeling done. Uh, I come around the backside there and all down the side of the back half of the tub, so all that's primered back there now. Just gotta do the engine block. I'm probably gonna pull the exhaust manifold and the water manifold out of here. Make it a quick a cleanup. And plus it, it's easier to paint this stuff off the bench. You know, get inside of here and whatnot. So, uh, watch your head, buddy. Huh? Careful. Uh, the 99 here, I did receive a head gasket for it there last week. 
courtesy of my Uncle Herb from Athens, Ontario. So that's getting ready to go back together here shortly. Uh, I do have the transmission opened up still. I'm still working on the detents. And I also do believe the flex plate is stuck to the flywheel because when I grab the hand crank, I think I showed you in the last video, the engine turns and so does the transmission shaft. So I think we got a stuck flex plate. That shouldn't be a big deal to get loose. But anyway, that's kind of where we're at with things here right now. Can't wait to put this thing away. I'm sick of using that. <laughs> Although it's been a pretty light winter for snow for us. Anyway, it's snowing a little bit outside now. But yeah, we're going to clean up in here a little bit and get ready for this plow and put some stuff away. I'm going to get Bennett working on this little John Deere here. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So if you guys like what you see as always, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.